All right, uh, well, let's begin a brand new day. And since we've spoken a lot about the macros, let's now drill it down to the micros. Our research team is standing by to give you a list of top 10 stocks as we head into trade. Vivek is here first up. He's tracking once again all the block deals and uh, a lot of the data on corporates. Vivek, you're looking at somewhere than Madison today. Well, absolutely right. You know, it's another uh, one in the list of long block deals that we've seen at, in the last uh, couple of weeks. So, summer than our mother's and will remain in focus today. The Japanese promoter Sumitomo Wiring is looking to sell almost 3.4% stake in the company, and this is most likely going to happen via block deal in today's trading session, as per sources. Now, the floor price for this particular block deal is very interesting—a significant discount to yesterday's closing price, 69.9 rupees a share is what the you know the floor price for this particular block is, and the total deal size is almost valued at 195 million dollars. Now, remember, at the end of the December quarter, Sumitomo Wiring held almost. 17.55% stake in the company. And as per the term sheet that we viewed, we understand that there is now a 180-day lockup uh, you know, for further sale of shares. It's an intention that Sumitomo Wiring has actually said as far as this particular block is concerned. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Uh, well, I'm watching out for Hero Motor Corp and I'm expecting the stock to be in the red today and I'll tell you why. Honda launched uh, the 100cc Shine bike yesterday. Now, that's important because Shine is a very popular brand of Hondas. They have 125cc and above motorcycles, but now they've come down in the 100cc category, which is A, a very competitive category, and B, it's not doing that well because of, you know, um, no recovery seen in Tier 2, Tier 3 in the rural markets. The pricing of Shine is also competitive compared to current players, and Honda spoke to my colleague Santia yesterday, and they said that they are looking to increase their touch points in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. So they are very aggressive in this space. Now, Hiromoto is currently the number one player in the 100cc segment. So UBS put out a note this morning where they said that this 100cc Honda Shine could dislodge Hero Motor Corp from its number one position. It's the only segment in which Hero is untouched so far. All the other segments, Hero has sort of lost market share. And this is the segment now where there is once again competition. So I'm going with red for Hero Motor Corp this morning. Okay, so that's Hero Motor in focus. Uh, let's move to uh, Patanjali Foods, where we had news coming in on the exchanges. Mangla Morning, so they're freezing uh, promoter shares. Basically, they can't be traded. Yes, uh, the promoter shares cannot be traded and that's uh, the notice which has come in from exchanges on account of SEBI's minimum public shareholding guidelines. But it is important to know that the promoter shares were locked in till April 2023 already on account of the FPO that took place uh, same time last year itself. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the promoters of the company hold about 80.82% stake in the company and this had to be reduced to 75%, increasing the public shareholding from just below 20% to around 25% odd percent itself. The company says they are confident of achieving this mandatory minimum public shareholding within the next few months. The stock exchange's action will not have any impact on their financial position. The big question, however, is what took them so long? The company says it was market conditions. Remember, the current price of the stock is uh, 960 rupees versus the FPO price of 650. But the stock is down 36% from its 52-week high already. So uh, we expect the stock to open in the red. But thereafter, post uh, you know the commentary coming in from the company, let's see whether there is some recovery or not. All right, thanks a lot for that. Well, we will be speaking with Sanjeev Asthana, who is the CEO of Patanjali Foods. That happens on Bazaar at 9 a.m. today, so you'd want to stay tuned in for that. All right, by the way, some news flow coming in. Uh, this is a big investment coming in from Adia on, uh, in Lens Card. They will be investing $500 million. It's interesting, we spoke to Kedara Capital yesterday, uh, the private equity fund that has investments in Lens Card, and they said that this is a great business moving up, and uh, you know this is uh, hopefully something that will happen very soon. And now, the large uh, investor has come through in Lens Card. So, interesting development in the e-commerce space. But let's do one thing. Let us talk about the other big headline, which is crude. There was a massive slide that happened uh, overnight in crude. In fact, for the past few days, Brent, I think, is now below $75 a barrel. Manisha Gupta is joining in to give us an update on all of that and the impact it perhaps could have on you know, certain sectors as well. Manisha, over to you. Thank you for that, Sonia. Well, yes, if you look at the last three trading sessions, we've seen the WTI crude oil prices lose by 12% and the Brent is down by 10% as well. And it's trading at a nearly one-year lows uh, as we look at the crude oil prices right now. 
There has been strength in U.S. dollar index back yet again. The hedge funds are liquidating longs that they have been holding in crude. And then the rising interest rates, economic uncertainty, risk of sentiment is all weighing onto the markets here. The crisis in the banking sector could trigger cut in demand is what the street is worrying about right now. And add to that, you've also seen the U.S. inventories rise by 1.6 million in the previous week. So everything is weighing on the crude prices right now with the markets anticipating that another 4 to $5 of a decline from here is not ruled out before we start seeing some stability into the markets there. Not just crude, natural gas, fell 5% overnight. Heating oil prices are trading at a one-year low. So everything in the energy markets right now trading in the negative. Yes, uh, that is the case in most asset classes as well, Manisha. Thanks very much uh, for the updates over there. Some more stocks and news. Let's go across to Rima for that. Rima, morning. Hi, morning. So, Godavari Power and Ispark Board will be meeting on Saturday, the 18th of March, to consider a buyback. Sarda Energy has received the consent to operate from the Environment Conservation Board of Raipur for expanding its existing rolling mill capacity. So, that's a positive. While Orient Paper has announced a capex plan of 475 crore towards modernization and de bottlenecking of their manufacturing facility at Madhya Pradesh. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot for that, Reema. So this is a list of our top 10 stocks in case you missed out on any stocks with positive news flow. All the crude-based companies that use crude as a derivative or as in uh, you know raw material. So all the aviation stocks, paint companies, ONGC, Oil India could all be in the green this morning. Godavari Power and Ispath as well, Sardha Energy and Orient Paper. While stocks with negative news flow, there's Samvart and Madison, there's Hero Motor Corp, more competition there, and Patanjali Foods as well. We'll take a quick break on that note. On the other side, Anand Tandan will be joining in for some fundamental stock analysis. We will also have the CFO of Dixon Technologies, Saurabh Gupta, joining in. Media reports indicate that the company is eligible for an additional PLI scheme of 150 crores. More on that in a bit.